Hey guys, x 50 here, and it's time for the Christmas special. Anyways, it is actually Christmas Eve. Kind of rainy though, um, but I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am really, really excited. Um, just looking at my drink. Anyway, there's something in it. Um, but uh, yeah. So it's Christmas Eve, and tomorrow is the big day. So you know, it's about one. 30 that clock's wrong so anyways so this is going to be another exit sign setup so yeah so for the emergency light we have a wait a second this is not an emergency light next it shine um i have my utilitech green universal thing here um aka my first exit sign i don't know the model at the top of my head but whatever and yes i just has battery backup but i love the green and the exit sign over here is the sure lights one that I got for my birthday. I haven't used this in a while. Um, I put it up now. And as you can see, there's like a glow around it. Well, with these older units, I've seen a lot of people with these. Um, basically, what they do is to mount it on the wall. Most of these older units um, were double face. So what they do is they would take the back face, make two holes and put it in the wall. But I didn't want to mess up the back plate, just in case I wanted to ever use it again. So what I did is, can't see it, but I bought like a picture hook. And yeah, you guys can try it at home if you have an old sign like this. But I just take, took a basic picture hook thing and I took off the back face and then just hung it up there and it looks actually kind of cool it kind of leans though but it's fine and if you're wondering what if it falls well my little door closer here I put it on the fastest speed to close and it still didn't um, fall so and yes this is uh, incandescent AC only so you know the battery backup models had like a big compartment on top of it but it doesn't have it so yeah I really love the appearance of this thing so what I'm going to do, turn off the lights and see how these look. I'll close the blinds, why not? It's getting dark in here. Can't see anything. Alright, so here's how they look. Yeah, I decided to do this a nice red and green Christmassy look. The red of this sign. Kind of looks like a white. And the green of this sign. So kind of a cool Christmas thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn on the lights again, and turn on the overhead light, there we go. Alright, so let's go in the hallway and see what I put up. So let's turn on this light. So I did have the um, Lithonia ELM2 LED out here, but now I have the Lithonia um, EU2 LED thing. Um, it's right out here. It's pretty cool. It kind of swings around because it didn't really fit on the fire alarm back box. I wanted it to, but you know. Let's go ahead and test this. Yep, it looks cool. I have this head pointing down the stairs. And then I have this other head pointing right here. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I'll unplug it. There it is. It's pretty bright, but not as bright as the other one. So it lights the path. So sorry for the background noise. But let's go ahead and plug this back in. So yeah, there's that. And now let's go downstairs. Down here, I actually put up the ELM2 LED in the other firearm spot. There it goes. Down there. But here it is. Um decided why not, you know. Let's go ahead and test it. It's really bright. I have this head pointing right there, as you can tell. This other one pointing over there. See if you can see. Kind of see it. Go ahead and turn off the light and see what it looks like. It didn't help really. Let's go ahead and test it. 
Yeah, it does a great job. So now, let's go into the garage and see what I have. Yeah, there's Brandy Weber on Christmas Eve. Anyway, so in the garage I have this again. Yeah, I kept the com this Sherlight's combo up because I actually really like the appearance of it. So yeah, and then let's go see what emergency I had to put up. I'm taking a new route. So the emergency I had to put up is same thing. Yeah, I kept both of these because I really like the appearance of them. Um, so that's why they've been out here. So they've been running since the Thanksgiving special, so I haven't really touched them. So, um, anyway, how about this? I got a little thing. Alright, signature. How about this? If you like this, I'm not keeping this setup, just so you know. But if you like how it's arranged, it, like, if, if you like the two units out here, where they are, Comment, I don't know, ES250. But if you like, if you don't like them all, like if you don't like the setup for them, comment, I don't know, SCR. Shout out to SCR Safety. But comment SCR. How about that? I'm not keeping these out here forever. Gosh, it's raining hard. But I'm not keeping these units out here forever. But just, I would just ask you guys if you do like the setup, the duo, I guess. So, I'll go ahead and unplug both of these units. I've been hoping for a power outage for all this rain, but I don't know if we'll get one. Watch it like right after this video we get a power outage. There we go. So there's that still running. The incandescent heads. So now, if I don't slip and fall, let's go over to the ELM2. Right there. The one in my um, kitchen area thing, the ELM2 LED. This is the L that's the LED version of this. Fun fact, if you couldn't tell already. Go ahead and plug it. There's that. This thing is crazy bright. Um, sadly, these were recalled for some sort of fire hazard, and um, I dropped the dang cord. But they were called for a fire hazard. I don't know. I think it was something about the lamps overheating. Um, and then this one was uh, just discontinued because of the. Um, the, it overcharges the battery after like five years. Let me get the cord and then I will see you guys in a second. <clears throat> Alright, now in the garage we have the hmm, Sherlock's combos here. Um, I put the, I kept these, this one here because I kind of like the appearance of it, plus I was too lazy to take it down. So it's been on since the last um, exit sign set up. Um, and also, so next to the emergency light, we have the, hmm, looks like we have the Lithonia one again, the ELM2. Yeah, I kept these units back, I just kept these units up because I kind of like the appearance of them. Um, I'm, I'm not going to keep them out here forever, I'll change them, don't worry, in the next one I will. But it's just, I decided to keep them up. So yeah. Um, also, a little thing, is if you do like the setup of these... I'm not saying keep, like, if you want it to keep here permanently, but if you just like the setup of these, comment, I don't know, ES250. And if you do not like the setup, like if you say, yeah, I never use this again, then comment, I don't know, SCR. <laughs> shout out to you, SCR Safety. Random shout out. Anyway, so let's go ahead and unplug both of these and then turn off the lights. So that one's running right there. Um, let's go over. Scoots beside these cars and unplug the ELM2. And for those of you that haven't figured it out, the ELM2 LED is the LED version of that. The one that's in that you just saw a second ago. So both of these on, as you can see, they sort of kind of do stuff, but not really. Most emergency lights are pointless when the power's on, but some do stuff like this. Kind of makes it glow. So I'm going to go ahead and switch off the power, or whatever. So there's everything. And like I said in the last one, 
um, oops, this head right there kind of lights up in this area. Then this one lights up like right over here. Let's go look at the ELM2. Get back here again. There it is. I'll right up there and it basically just lights up this little pathway. Just to see. It's pretty bright for incandescence. But these got recalled for many reasons and one of the main ones is that the lamps, aka the heads on them, would overheat and sometimes melt the plastic. So that isn't very nice. So, scoop out of here again and turn on the light and plug it right back in. And that'll be it. Sorry, uh, this Christmas special wasn't much, but I really couldn't think of any ideas. There we go. That one's back to normal. Here, let's take a new route. I think this is a lot faster. Got a bunch of water here. And I need to stay on this side to plug this one in. There's the plug. There it is. There we go. Alright, so anyways guys, that was the Christmas special. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for doing another exit sign update, but that's really I could think of. Anyways, um, it's actually, it's getting close to uh, Christmas Day, so I hope you guys get a lot of cool stuff. Um, if you want to, you can tell me in the comments what you got, because I'd love to know. Now I'm going to be getting some cool stuff. Anyways guys, that is basically it, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.